Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So a while back the boyfriend tested positive for the you know what virus and then I became ill. So here we are in our eternal isolation. I woke up at 9.30 in the morning and as you can tell from my pyjamas this will be a surprisingly Harry Potter heavy video. After rolling around in bed for an extra 10 minutes, I got up, tied my hair, brushed my teeth and got ready for the day. I didn't bother with any makeup because absolutely nobody's got time for that and I'm staying home cut off from the rest of the outside world so who cares. At 9.50 I get to making my usual breakfast of one bowl of oats deliciously microwaved and served with some honey and orange juice. And yes, that is the Lego Hogwarts Express in the background. As I ate breakfast, I enjoyed a healthy dose of productivity and tech videos on YouTube so that I can pretend I'm not procrastinating. With breakfast done, I went into Notion on my iPad, which is the app I use to organise everything in my life, and reviewed my overall projects, then went into my daily planner and made my to-do list for the day, which broadly consists of doing some studying and attending a few meetings. Once my to-do list was in place, I made myself a nice cup of latte with one shot of espresso from my fancy coffee machine as sponsored by my parents, and some copious amount of milk with my milk frothing machine as sponsored by my salary as a junior doctor. At around 10.30, I sit down at my desk and spend a few minutes going through some emails and doing some mundane admin tasks to start my day. At exactly 11, I decided that I can't stave off the inevitable much longer and bite the bullet to finally book my MRCS Part A exam, which is what you need to enter surgical training in the UK. It is served with a side of gut punching, wallet emptying £550. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait! Everybody just calm down! Help! After my wallet hurls herself out of the window from this ordeal, I decided that I should do some studying to feel less depressed over the fact that I've just thrown away a quarter of my hard-earned salary for this month in one click. Since I've already previously scoped the MRCS syllabus to plan my revision, I was able to dive straight into some applied anatomy. The topic of the day was structures in mediastinum, so I go through a mixture of my anatomy notes from medical school, as well as some anatomy textbooks to fill in the gaps for more advanced knowledge. As I'm going through the material, I make notes using the Cornell method on Notion, which I will make a video about in the future. About an hour into my work, I get a call from my local university professor, signalling the first of my meetings of the day. We discussed my current academic projects and what the hell I was going to do after my F2 year and how I was going to continue my academic training, specifically regarding the academic clinical fellow post. After that, I have my second meeting of the day. I have been leading a free national teaching program with a few colleagues on getting into the academic foundation program, which was called Access the AFP. The program has been a huge success in its inaugural year, so we were trying to think of ways to keep it running for the next year and how we could get more support and funding from more official channels. It was now 2pm and I decided it was time for my lunch break, which today was a delicious scrambled egg and ham sandwich courtesy of my wonderful boyfriend who can cook much better than I can. We ate lunch together with another healthy dose of YouTube videos and then it was back to work for me. My morning meetings has generated quite a few admin tasks for me to do, so I spend the next two hours putting together the right documents to send to different people for review. At this point, I was interrupted with the delivery of two parcels to my door. One contained a fairly important document, but I was much more interested in the other parcel because it contained some LEGO train tracks. Now, remember that Hogwarts Express you saw at the background this morning? Well, the set didn't come with any tracks, so like anyone I'm sure, I bought a set of LEGO train sets so that the display would look even better. Yes, I am a hopeless Potterhead, I know. So it is with this that I spent the next 30 minutes redecorating my display cabinet. At 5.30pm, I remember that my third and final meeting of the day was coming up, which would require me to not be in pyjamas anymore, so I quickly changed into the norm for Zoom etiquette with a formal shirt on top and PJ bottoms. This was the AGM of a national society which I am on the committee for, and tonight was the night I would complete my two-year term, whilst new committee members would be elected after a round of hustings. Now bear in mind there were going to be 60 applicants, so this meeting was going to take a while. To try to be productive, I kept Notion open on the side in case I felt like doing some work whilst the meeting was going on, but this doesn't last particularly long. By the time the meeting finished at 7, I was feeling pretty knackered for the day. My boyfriend set dinner going, and we decided to use the last of our quarantine time setting up the old Christmas tree in anticipation for the good old holiday, during which we will both be working this year, having lost the freedom of being a student and straight into being a junior doctor where having public holidays off is an occasional luxury rather than a guarantee. 
We ate dinner and enjoyed a quick game of Halo ODST where I successfully stickied this big guy and blew him up before showering and going to bed. And that brings the end of my day in productive isolation. I hope you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. That's it for now and see you next time.